Hello guys, my name is Rahul and watching Movie Talk. So guys, today I'll explain what is the difference between regular braking and engine braking. Nowadays, many of us are familiar with regular braking, but we really confused to hear about engine braking. So now the question is, what is engine braking is and how does it differ from the regular braking? So in this video, we'll go in details of an engine braking. So friends, if you new to my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned and press the bell icon to get the notification of the new videos. Now the question is, what engine braking is? It is basically a way to slow down a bike with the help of an engine without touching the regular brakes. While riding at an highway, suddenly encounter with a sharp cornering. The immediate action you do is that hard braking and downshift to the lower gear. As soon as you downshift to the lower gear, the RPM of the engine does not match with an RPM of the rear wheel. Due to that, we have to deal with a hard engine braking. Sometimes regular brakes are not enough for an emergency blockage. With the technique and coordination of the both engine and regular brakes make a perfect stopping. Once again, I'll explain engine braking with a practical example. While riding in a high speed of a fifth gear, suddenly encountered with an obstacle, we apply a brakes and downshift to the fourth gear. While doing so, the rotational speed of the rear wheel does not match with the rotational speed of the fourth gear. That lead to the hard engine braking. To avoid this issue, at that very moment, we had to re-engage the clutch and accelerate to the minimum to perform a smooth engine braking. Likewise, have to downshift up to the lowest gear to completely slow down the vehicle. Engine braking is high at a lower gear and low at a higher gear. Engine braking is not harmful to the bikes if it is done properly. Although it does only a minor scratch to the class disc, we usually use engine braking while riding down to the hills. But it is bad idea if we use engine braking while in a traffic jam. Now let us begin with another explanation. While we accelerate, the engine force the rear wheel to rotate faster. Whereas while we stop accelerate, the rotational energy present in an wheel force the engine to rotate. At that time, while we downshift from the 6th to 5th gear, there is a more load in a 5th gear. 5th gear can't produce the peak speed of a 6th gear, thus the reason the vehicle encounter with a hard engine braking. Applying engine braking wisely is the best way to stop the vehicle in emergency. So guys, hopefully you understand the engine braking. Now comes to the regular braking, such as disc brake and down brake. I have already created a detailed video on disc brake and down brake, so click the above link to watch the full video. In a simple term, the regular brakes create a friction in a wheel to stop the vehicle. There are various ways of regular brakes such as pedal brakes and lever brakes. There is a fluid present in a tube. While you press the brake lever or the brake pedal, the fluid created pressure on a brake plates and created a friction on a wheel to stop the vehicle. It is very simple. There is nothing complex in regular brake. You can watch my video of disc brake and dam brake by clicking the link in the description. Now the conclusion is, it is necessary to use both engine and regular braking during emergency contact. And also it is illegal in some countries to drive without no gear engage because without engine braking the people have lot more accident in a street. Lastly, my suggestion is, if you love your life, never use regular brake directly throughout whatever the situation is. Always try to adapt the habit of using combined braking system. That's all guys, hope you understand the differences. If you had any question then please write in and comments. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. If the video is helpful to you, like, share and subscribe. Until the next time, goodbye.